Michaela, what did you send me? Hey internet, it's Jessica, and welcome to Burning Hot Love. Uh, this is a Malix dating simulator, and if you don't know who Malix is, he's from Seduce Me. And, um, Michaela just sent me this, and I, I don't even know- what a great- Wow, check out that freaking artwork. Alright, I guess we're just starting now, and I don't know what to expect. Behold, a passion left told, uh, a love of flame burning, burning and bold. When given a choice, the girl seeks sin. Now feast your eyes on the passion- What are we in Dr. Seuss? <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, uh... Hey, Maddox, I love you! <laughs> okay! Shut up! I'll kill you dead! No! I can't! I love you too! I'm a good devil! Yay! Kiss me please! Okay, let me touch your tail, kiss me please. Excuse me? <laughs> the end! Happy April Fools! Thanks, Michaela! God, Cherry said that flute sounds really great, Chris. Um, <laughs> that can't be it. I know, Michaela. Sometimes you put something in here. I don't believe this is the last thing. Let me do this again. What do you know? See, something else is there. Alex, I made you some eggs! I can't eat those eggs! Are these just- are these just filled with, like, puns? What is happening? <laughs> the end! Seriously, happy April Fools! Okay, I don't believe you! Malix, whose shoes are these? Those are mine! They look expensive! They are! They're Prada! <laughs> what is that? My fiddle! I'm going on a trip! Where are you going? Don't, don't say the devil went to Georgia. I swear to God. Georgia. God damn it! <laughs> the end. Not lying this time. Happy April Fools. I don't believe you. There's literally nothing else. So, Mika x Malix for life. Why are you here? That was it. Close the game. No, Michaela. I will not close the fucking game. <laughs> Seriously. That was the entire April Fool's gag. Now close the goddamn game. What are you expecting? I'm just gonna repeat the message over and over until you actually close the game. Test me. Bitch, I will fight you! <laughs> Why are you here? That was it. Close the game. No. Seriously. That was the entire April Fool's gag. Now close the damn game. Why are you still here? Why are you- What are you waiting for? Close the game! You're being cheeky. Stop it. Hey, where's Malix? <laughs> Or, perhaps, you are waiting for something, and you expect me to give it to you? Not likely. I doubt you deserve such a thing. A measly attempt to secrets beyond a joke? You cannot prove you have earned such a gift. And yet you persist. You are a stubborn human. Yes, I am. Hun, can you possibly prove that you deserve the secret? Very well. A test. For you to be here, you must know the ten-year war that ravaged the Abyssal Plains. There was one being, however, not naive of the demon world, who observed as a spy. Malix? Question mark? <laughs> Malix, a high general of Satan's army. His time in the demon world did not last, however. Give me the true name of the one who fought the general. Lord of Dragons, Omaris, it's Sam, I remember that. Omaris now serves the he uh, blah, blah, blah. Omaris now serves the hearth as one of the five seats, but the true question remains: Is Malix dead or alive? Very well. Observe through prisoner's eyes in the ancient bestial of what fate has in store. Whoa! Hello! I knew Michaela. She always puts secrets in her freaking games, so I knew this was gonna happen. Check out those glowing eyes behind the start uh, button. That's nice. Whoa! 
You wake up. You're in a cell, lying on the ground. Beside you is some sort of red-skinned man with horns and scars all over his face. Uh, finally! You sleep like the fucking dead! Took me forever to wake your stupid ass up. You speak. You don't speak. Ooh, are we talking about ourselves? Uh, I'll speak. Uh, where am I? <laughs> I knew it. I figured you'd be human. If you're that ignorant of your surroundings, then you must be human. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Using foul language to try and be tough, huh? <laughs> okay, what a weak ass. Shut up, Alex! <laughs> Whoa, who's that? You see a tray of food dropped onto the floor in Redskin's man's cell. A woman stands at the door cell, patiently staring. Real. Eat. Despite giving the woman a nasty glare, the man quickly eats. His tray is taken after. The woman walks over and drops another tray into the cell. Water bottle and a small loaf of bread. Human. Meal. Eat. I'll eat because I don't feel like dying. <laughs> it's bread and water. Pa uh, passable. Smart one. The woman walks away, leaving you and the man alone. So, humans can get locked up in here. I never guessed that. Uh, you keep to yourself. Why am I here? You know, like, I want to ask questions, but knowing, like, how Malix is in, like, the previous games, he's he's so much of a dick and he plays around so much, but I'm really curious. This is a prison, stupid. I know that, There's thanks. where creatures are left to rot forever. I'm not supposed to be here. Yet here I am. To think that I'd get dropped into the ancient Bastille. Didn't think it was real. <laughs> You must have fucked up real bad to end up in here. Especially next to the likes of me. Who are we, by the way? I don't know what I did. I'm innocent. You remain silent. I'm gonna remain silent. What the hell could a human like you do to land here? Nah. My guess? You probably got caught up in some turf war in the demon district. Which means you're a demon hunter. Well... Ex demon hunter now. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Would explain your tattoo at least. Only try hard demon hunters get that shit. <laughs> the man points at your arm. You look down and see the tattoo of a candle wrapped in barbed wire stretch over your forearm. The flame at the wick moves as if it has a life on your skin. You touch it. You simply stare. Let me touch it. Your fingers tap on the flame. It's warm, warmer than your body temperature. The flame goes out as you pull your finger away. Then comes back to life after a couple of seconds. So, from the expression on your face, I can tell that you don't remember anything. Yeah. Figures. Angels must have tried to wipe your memory. Hmm. You instinctively raise an eyebrow, but before you can react, a set of footsteps catch your attention. Two large stone suit of armor flank the woman in the man's cell door. The door swings open. Lashes. Are you kidding me? Suck my balls. What is happening? Ah. Oh, okay. The man moves to stand, but the two suits of armor march in and grab him by the arms, lifting him up. What? Afraid of getting devil dick in your mouth? Not afraid. You wouldn't be the first. Follow. Okay, bye! The man is dragged out, disappearing into the darkness of space around the cells. You end up alone for a while, looking around, there is very little light, the bars are made out of strange heavy steels, and the walls and floors are firm of stone. Yet you cannot recall why you were there in the first place. After a moment, you close your eyes and sleep with nothing better to do. Yeah, I'm sure this is a good idea. Get back here! Flash of flashes of light burst in your dreams, the sound of storms echo behind your eyes. Wind and rain rushes against past your body as you feel yourself run into an unknown direction. Suddenly, you stop and catch your breath, enduring your lungs burning for relief. Shit! Where did they go? You idiot! You hear your heart beat wildly in your head. Fear takes over your body. Your mind screams, did we really lose them? You awake with a heavy gasp. You are, you are still in your cell. Nothing has changed. Your body is uninjured. You wake up in time to see the man thrown back into his cell with fresh scars and lashes on his body. Black tar-like blood oozes from the gashes. Ew! Piss off. The woman turns and leaves. Hey, how come this shithead doesn't get lashed? The woman stops and looks at you. Hunter, awaiting trial. She then turns to the man. You, found guilty by the hearth. Punishment to be delivered daily. Oh. Are you shitting me? Ah! 
What do you mean? You remain silent. I- I feel like if I say she's gonna like whip my ass, so I'm just gonna say nothing. The woman leaves. The man picks up a nearby pebble and chucks it in the direction of the woman had gone. Stupid bitch. Ugh. The man silly sits up and stretches, releasing a groan of pain. Hey, Malix, you okay? No, I- no offense! James, you're doing a great job with, uh, Malix's voice, but I don't like Malix, okay? So I'm gonna remain silent. The man runs his fingers along one of the gashes, splitting on the f uh, splitting on the floor at the sight. So, you're waiting trial, huh? <laughs> Whatever you did must have been really bad. You tilt your head in confusion. The man looks at you and spits at your feet before laughing. Still can't remember a fucking thing. Looks like you're stuck with whatever they charge you for. Wouldn't surprise me if they just blame a genocide on you or something. You try and recall your dream, yet nothing appears in your mind. You don't even remember your name. You slump over and the man laughs at the at sight. At least you're here so I can laugh at something. It's not as fun laughing at a wall. I'm, I'm wondering, like, are we... Like, who we are? Yeah, I get it, we're a, a demon hunter, but who exactly are we? Did they say what gender we were to give us a clue? I don't think so, right? Why are you here anyway, Remain? Hey, bitch, why are you here? The man stares at you for a moment before cackling, uh, cracking his knuckles in some display of pride. I was on a job for Satan himself. Scouting out a war, you know? Adult shit, but my crap you baby hunters do. Some part of you ignites in anger at his words, but you hold yourself back, he continues. I just got cocky and picked a fight with a guy I had beef with. Have beef with. Mm -hmm. Should've known he would've pulled something out of his ass. The man kicks the cell bars in front of him, letting an echo ring a seemingly empty dark hall. So he's talking about his fight with Sam. And now that fucker yeah. is the king of the demon world and I'm stuck here. Fucking great. You can't help but smirk at him being angry. The man looks over and glares. Hey, that same fuck is gonna judge you at the earth like he did me, so I wouldn't start laughing, shithead. The man jabs his thumbs towards his back, slowly showing and reminding him of the lashes he had to endure. The man groans before lying on the ground on his stomach. Fuck this, I'm sleeping. He closes his eyes and suddenly you feel alone once again. He probably needs to rest. You, however, examine the bars, examine the floors, examine the man. Let's examine Malix. You look to the man as he lies sleeping. His physique is rather impressive. The scars slowly stop bleeding out and his back blood dries on the skin as he as the gashes close up. You only stare, watching as his wounds close up as faster than you ever seen. You vaguely recognize his skin, however. Whoa! Ugh, that should be the last of them. Hell spawn assholes. Hey, I think one's still alive. Fuck you, Rock. Got him. Ugh. Don't you just love the smell of dead hellspawn in the morning? You're disgusting. You have that blessed acid? Nah, the newbie has it. You remember pouring gallons of acid over bodies of dead devil spawn and watching them dissolve into black tar. Uh, can we go home now? Zuli has a jug of roasted ale that's waiting for me. Gah, how can you eat those? Hey, those are an abyssal plains delicacy, alright? Besides, I deserve it after getting my ass chewed up. It's not our fault that you didn't alert us about a devil gang kidnapping a human in our territory. I had other shit to do. Like screw an incubus prostitute? Shut up. Let's just go. Who are these people? <laughs> Your colleagues left you to watch the tar melt into the soil. The smell of ashes and brimstone would bury themselves into your nostrils. You had killed this kind before. Before long, your mind forces you back into reality. You look around, then back at the man, settling back into normalcy. He was a devil spawn, one of the many creatures you had killed in your time outside the cage. But your mind doesn't let you linger on it for long. Exhaustion slowly forces your body down onto the ground to rest. Darkness greets you in your mind, and you and all you can do is let uh, and all you can do is let it hold you. Your sleep is dreamless, solemn, and temporarily silent. Images of cities full of demons kind and human with weapons plague you. You cannot place names or meanings to them, yet you feeling a longing to return. The movie in your mind keeps keeps you at peace. Only a sound of boots slamming against the sealed bars wakes you. Hey, piss it. Food's here. Wake up. Okay. Are you awake and feel your body ache from the abrupt awakening? However, the man is right. The woman, holding a tray of food, standing in front of your cell, water bottle, and small loaf of bread. Human. Meal. 
Eight. Okay. <laughs> it's bread and water possible. The tray is taken. <laughs> so, remember anything yet? Or are you still as dull as a rock? I remember a little. Fuck off. You say nothing and ignore him. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I should talk to him about this. Fuck it. I'm gonna talk to him. Really? <laughs> I doubt so much. You tell me about your dream, trying to describe the beings in it and your connection to it. Yep. Called it Demon Hunter. My guess... You raise an eyebrow and open your mouth to ask what he means, but he interrupts you. Barbed wire on a candle. It's their gang symbol. Every member has that stupid tattoo. Oh, soon enough, the woman returns with two stone suit of armor, barging in to take the man in their grasp. He doesn't even fight as they carry him away into the dark hall, vanishing into the black. You begin to wonder, will that be your fate? You had no recollection of what you had done. You only seen glimpses of memories, vague and fragmented. How were you even going to defend yourself? Were you like, were you going to be allowed to? You sigh and lean back against the wall of your cell. There's no escape, nor any chance of escaping punishment should try you. All you can do is think. The man, the prison. I mean, this entire game is about Malik's, right? I, I feel like I'm supposed to think about Malik's. The man interests you. Despite his sharp tongue and obvious disregard for you, you find yourself intrigued to say the least. Who is he exactly? A devil, of course, but beyond that. A handsome, in some weird sense, laughable at best. Yet he's trapped here, just like you, already given judgment. You wonder for a moment if he has ever thought of escape. You come up with theories and the idea, and ideas in your spare time, becoming lost to time. Soon enough, the man returns with more f uh, fresh slashes adorning his skin. He is tossed into the cell, landing with a heavy thud. It's almost like tossing a dead body. You grow weak. You fucking wish, bitch. The woman does not reply, leaving the man alone. However, she stops by your jail cell. Trial tomorrow. Oh, okay, th thanks. And she leaves without any further words. You turn to the man, seeing him sit up with a painful groan. If that demon shit stain thinks his little is gonna stop whatever hell has planned. He has another thing coming. What what does that mean? The man looks over at you, listening before grinning at your question. Satan's got a plan. I'm just part of it. Yeah, I figured that. You grimace and ask him uh you grimace and ask how that can be, the man laughs. Like I tell you, you'd probably rat me out during your trial. You jam your fists against the bars between your cell, uh, causing him to stop laughing and glare at you. You're not scary. If anything, you should be afraid of me. Well, apparently we're not scared of you. Some form of fear runs up your spine. Uh, his words, never mind. His words are weighted in some hidden truth. Flagging warning in your mind. The man sits back and rolls his eyes, now ignoring you. Science regains over the cells. He ignores your existence, tending to his gashes. You become lost in thoughts, remembering the words the woman spoke to you. Your trial is tomorrow. How long is until tomorrow? Time he time is lost here. No clock or sun gives you solace or indi indication of what time it is. You can't even rely on your own body clock. Lost between the vague information you know and you know and the inconsistent sleep. What what would be in store for you? You shut your eyes, realizing the futility of it. Whatever you did to earn a ticket here. You have to take it. You have no choice in the matter. Peace for you can only be found in the darkness of your dreams. You vaguely see the life with friends, adventures you led, uh, that led you to meet many people, brotherhood and sisterhood with other humans, being saved multiple times. Your heart breaks up the fragmented dreams and memories, how you wish to understand, to know, to remember. The verdict is decided. Your sentence, oblivion. That does not sound good. Fear is all that holds you up. As soon as the hearth loses its flame, you feel nothing. What? Guilty? Okay. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to end it right there. Clearly, there is something more, but I want to leave it up to you guys to find out yourself. So if you guys would like to download the game yourself, the link is in the description where you can get it. And also, please check out Michaela Laws' stuff. If you enjoy her game and her work, please follow her and check out her other games so you can play them. Also, if you've never played Seduce Me, I highly recommend it to you. The first game is free, and you can also get the second one as well. I'll have links to that as well. And uh, this is interesting. I know that this was meant to be like an April Fool's joke, but it ended up being something about the Tenure War, mentioning the canon with Sam, and the fact that what happened to Malix after their fight in Seduce Me too. So that was really interesting. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you guys would like to support the channel on Patreon, the link is in the description, or you can support the channel for free with gawkbox.com slash a girl and a game. And if you guys use those stuff, I can continue making videos like this and continue the channel overall. So yeah, please let me know uh, what you guys thought about this. I did like the stupid jokes at the beginning. That was really funny. <laughs> but um, like I said earlier, if you guys want to check out the game and Michaela's stuff, I'll leave a link in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, oh my god. Yowie Seme! <laughs> If you don't know what that means, please do not look that up! ...lies to the main characters. These powerful beasts are known as summons. They are extraordinary beings that can be called into battle by their summoner. They are also depicted as 